everyone, welcome to How I Des Rolls. Today, I am going to be doing a review on this Stumaki portable induction cooker, and I am so excited about it. So let's make some fettuccine Alfredo, shall we? So before I plug it in, I wanted to tell you a little bit of the why I wanted to try this out. So I love cooking with skillets, but I never had a, an induction top. So I wanted to get this to try it because I've heard they're so efficient. And not only just efficient, like over 80% more efficient than um, an electric stove. So it's so lightweight, you could take it anywhere. You could, as long as there's a plug, you could use it. So think dorm rooms, think like RVs, think like tiny houses. So I definitely wanna try it. And whenever I watch like cooking videos, they're cooking on an induction top, most of the videos that I'm watching. So let's try this. It says it can get bo water boiling in five minutes. Hmm, I have to make noodles. So let's start with that first. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn it on. It's gonna do some beeping. I just pushed the boil water. So let me tell you what time it is. It's 3.53. So let me show you the, the controllers on here. So there is the plug that um, this will actually turn it on and then nothing will happen. It'll just beep if you don't put a, a pot on there. So it'll work with all your, pretty much every pot that you can cook with or frying pan. Um, so this button here will push push it right into 1800 which that's the um the wattage i believe and so it's going to be like over 400 degrees i think um and so that will get our pot going in about hopefully five minutes but i just think it's so smart because last night i was trying to like figure it out and i'm like it's not turning on oh well, that's because you have to put a pot on and that's that smart okay so it's been five minutes Pretty darn close to boiling. So you can see it's about to happen. And then I'm just gonna add my, we're using some gluten-free noodles. So we'll just do that today. We'll make some of these gluten-free noodles and then we'll start on the Alfredo sauce and how easy it is. So far, like I'm touching my handles here and not even warm at all. So if I use this on my burners, these will tend to heat up. So I'm gonna say that that's already a perk with using the induction top from Sumaki. Cool, so let me get those in very, very quick here. All right, so my noodles are perfectly cooked and I don't even need pot holders, you guys. So, so far an extra plus. So I'm gonna um, rinse these out and then get started on the Alfredo sauce. Okay, so this next recipe, I just found it on Instagram. There's somebody I follow named Sonia Whitaker on Instagram. She's a great DIYer. Plus she has some easy recipes to do if you're in a pinch, kind of creative. So she just showed her famous or her easy peasy um, Alfredo sauce. And so she has like a lot of it, like it's like four cups of heavy whipping cream and I'm only gonna do half. So I'm gonna only do two cups of heavy whipping cream or half and half, that's totally fine to use. Two tablespoons of butter and I have one tablespoon of garlic. I'm gonna kind of incorporate that. Put a teaspoon of salt and a half of a teaspoon of pepper. Kind of get that going and then we're just gonna start adding everything into it. But the thickening agent that's going to go into it is cornstarch with a little bit of milk and then we're gonna get that to thicken up. It should happen fairly quickly and then we'll just add our noodles to it. Easy peasy. And Paul is grilling some chicken. It's not gonna be, that is gonna be the perfect topping for this meal. So we're just gonna put the button on and there it goes, you guys. So you can adjust this. Um, you can make it like hotter or cooler. We're just gonna go to 1200, which is, which is about 320 degrees. So we're just gonna get that to melt down this butter kind of get that infused into the, the garlic infused into the butter. And then we're just gonna start adding everything. So now, okay, so these pans, I always use these little hot pot holders because this part gets really hot on the burners. Let's see if it does that today right now. All right, so I'm just gonna start adding the heavy whipping cream. So I'm gonna do two cups 
I'm not sure if I have a full two cups in here, so that's why I brought out the half and half. So no, I'm gonna have to do the last half of the cup in the half and half, so perfect. Now these are all left over from Thanksgiving, so I just wanted to be able to use them up. This is a good recipe for that. Let me get my Parmesan cheese in here, and you know what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take it down a little bit. This is about 280. Now it calls for four ounces since I'm going half, but this is six ounces, so I'm gonna do not quite all of it. Yeah, there we go, I just left a little bit at the bottom. You guys, so far, I am loving this induction. Let me feel here. <gasps> this is the best. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I, I'm waiting for this part to just get a lot, um, the cheese melty, and then I'm going to add the cornstarch to thicken it up. Okay, so I'm going to bring it down a little bit more, just to like a simmer, and then I'm going to add in the cornstarch, and that's going to thicken it up, and that's it, you guys. So you just keep on stirring. I just turned it off, like just right now, because look at how nice and creamy this is. So I'm just gonna keep it going because I still have a little more liquid here and just break it down a tiny bit, like just making sure all of that, um, maybe some of these chunks that might be cheese chunks here, just kind of get more fully incorporated. And then we're just gonna pour it on top of the yummy noodles. It's time to mix the sauce in. Yeah, um, so I'm just gonna do it a little bit at a time. Pour some more. It smells really good. So I am about to get ready to serve it to the boys, but I thought I'd have a little taste test. Paul did a great job grilling this chicken. That is so good. It is the perfect Alfredo sauce. Mm -mm. That is delicious. You are going to love it. So for the induction top, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I was able to cook meals without, like you can see my dirty pans, that cleanup on the, on the induction will just take a wipe and that is it. My pans, however, are going to have to soak. <laughs> but I'm so glad that my friends over at Sunmaki asked for a review because I have been wanting to do one on a, an induction cooktop for a while now. And I'm so glad that I got to do it. And it is perfect. I will have a link down below for you to get your own cooktop. So I hope you, you enjoyed the video, my honest review, and maybe you could get yourself one too. So and thanks rollers for watching the video. Have a wonderful evening. Stick around because you just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Bye everyone. Hope there's enough for everybody because I might eat from this bowl. <laughs>